Hi guys, and uh, sorry for the mess. Welcome to my first, my second day with Lena Skin and Hair Clinic, but my first day of treatment. Um, today, I'm getting the Claresca Skin Rejuvenation Treatment. It is a treatment, uh, it's like a, it's a facial, it's non-invasive, it lasts nine minutes, and it induces collagen, uh, eliminates fine lines, reduces pores, and reduces scar signs of scarring. So I'm really excited to see what they can do for my pore. I do have a very uneven complexion, I have uneven skin texture, I have massive pores, lots of signs of scarring from acne when I was younger, and um, yeah, it will be interesting to see what they can do. I'm really excited. The products that they gave me last time when I went for my assessment have worked wonders. They are amazing, and I honestly cannot recommend them enough. I've put them loads on my Instagram. I'm going to pop some details below. Um, so you can have a look at them. I'll show you them later right now. I'm running a little bit late. I'm supposed to be there at 11. Um, we're filming live on Facebook today at noon. I'm a little bit nervous to be honest. I've never been live on Facebook. Like what do you wear for that? Like what, what do you wear? Um, so I've just put on the Glossier Skin Tint and some concealer and use Glossier Boy Brow to just give me a natural look. It's all coming off anyway, so, um, but I didn't want to put too much on because it's just a hassle to take off again. <laughs> so. I better run. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. You know what's annoying about this? I ran. The train is four minutes late. I hope that doesn't make me too late. But it is a glorious day outside. And a perfect day to get a facial. Right, so this is your first time in having a aesthetic treatment? Yes. Great, okay. Um, so Dr. Martin Wade, as a dermatologist, can you tell us sort of what are causing the issues that Yasmin experiences with her skin? Mm -hmm. So Yasmin's uh, still got some acne happening, so she's got some mild acne around the side of the face. Uh, there's some inflammation on the skin as well, uh, some redness on the skin. Um, up here on the forehead we can see that there's some spacious hyperplasia which is an aftermath of uh, the acne most likely. And one of the concerns I know you did have was this uh, large pore on the, the left cheek and that's uh, where you've had a, a cyst before which is now involuted but it has left a, a permanent uh, mark there. And Dr. Wade, can you just tell us what Claresca skin rejuvenation actually is as a treatment? So it's a treatment that harnesses the energy of light basically and it's a rejuvenation treatment which stimulates the, the body's own um, repair um, system to, to improve the skin. So it increases collagen production by stimulating fibroblasts um, and it uh, is anti-inflammatory so it has lots of beneficial effects for the skin. And is, there, is, it, is it a miracle cure? Like, is it going <coughs> to solve all of Yasmin's problems? <laughs> So we don't yet have the miracle cure, unfortunately, but uh, Claresca does actually tick quite a few boxes. And one of the main things about it is it's a non-painful treatment. So for someone like you, Yasmin, who hasn't had any aesthetic procedures before, um, that may be one of your concerns. It's certainly one of the concerns of our patients who are having laser for the first time. So it's a, it's a nice, gentle treatment to start with. Um, it's very safe as well. So, um, you know, that's, that's another good thing for someone who hasn't uh, had any facial treatments before. But it is going to work on a, a lot of different levels on your skin. So it's going to reduce the inflammation, it's going to improve the redness, it's going to um, improve pore size, which is something I know you're, you're concerned about, and, and basically the tone and clarity and texture of the skin will be improved. Fantastic. Okay. Great, okay. And so I'm going to ask uh, Karen from Claresca, if you could just join us for a moment. Uh, this is Karen from Koreski UK. Okay. Um, Karen, two, two questions for me. One is, um, I see we've got the lamp and we're going to have that demonstrated. Yes. Uh, a lot of beauty clinics or aesthetic clinics use 
light therapy mm -hmm. and LED treatment. Yes. Is chloresca skin rejuvenation just another form of light treatment? No, absolutely not. It, well, it is a light treatment when you say another form of. The beauty of chloresca, which is what makes it different, is we are using fluorescent light. Majority of clinics in the UK may have a blue light, which indeed the lamp is a blue light. The beauty of chloresca, and I'd just like to show you this, is that we have, it works in conjunction with the gel. The gel contains chromophores. It's the chromophores in the gel that convert the light from a blue light, which is very um, sort of prominent within the beauty industry, to fluorescent light. And fluorescent light means that we can go deeper and it's a vascular treatment rather than just a topical treatment. So this is a totally different style of therapy. Okay, but um, a lot of people won't have heard of chloresca before in this market. So is this a new treatment or you know, how long has it been around? Okay. So Cresca has been out on the market uh, for about four years now. And I can tell you that in uh, Australia, we have about 46 clinics. It's the main treatment for acne in Australia. Uh, across Europe, we have nearly 40 clinics in Germany, 30 clinics in Spain. We've just started out in the south of France. So this is becoming a really, really talked about widespread treatment. We currently have nine clinics in the UK. So we're just really taking off in the UK. Great, thank you. So um, Vanessa, can you just tell us um, what preparation you've done with Yasmin in the past? Yeah, sure. So um, uh, I've met with Yasmin two weeks ago, so prior to treatment. So we um, we did a consultation. We did uh, we did take some photos just to make sure that um, you know we, we really want to see what we're talking about and everything. And I did recommend some skincare to use before treatment. So there's no specific preparation for Cresca treatment, but we did go over a skincare regime to do at home. So um, three um, specific products with active ingredients in it. So. These are the products I, um, I asked um, Yasmin to use. So there's the glycolic wash, which contains glycolic acid. So that helped to exfoliate the, por the pores, as well as to um, make the skin smoother and just clean, clean, the, deep, deep clean the skin and exfoliate the skin. Uh, then there's the vitamin C, which is a powerful antioxidant anti um, to use at night. So that helps with um, inflammation, uh, oiliness, um, pigmentation as well. And then um, Yasmin is, has been using the, the, the hydrating glycolic um, serum, which contains glycolic acid and hyaluronic acid, which is um, an ingredient to hydrate the skin. So the three products in conjunction work really well for her because mm -hmm. we can already see an improvement. So um, we do like to, to, to recommend to our patient that they do start with this kit because it just helps to make the skin the best, the best uh, it can be before we start the treatment. So this, this is some, some skincare preparation. This is all dermatologist recommended skincare. Yeah. If you're interested in finding out more about skincare, feel free to contact the clinic. We'd be happy to share um, information about the skincare and where to get that from as well. And then today, Vanessa, what prep have, we, have you done with uh, Yasmin? So today I've just cleansed uh, Yasmin's skin uh, with a mild cleanser just to make sure that the skin is free of any makeup, uh, oil, or um, dirt, or anything. We just want to have a really clear, uh, clear, clean skin, and then uh, just before we apply the gel. Okay, great. So let's get started and uh, start the preparation. This is getting ready. So uh, the, the, the product is Chloresca Skin Rejuvenation. Um, as Karen described, there are two pots. Um, uh, and Vanessa, tell me, so what have we got in the pots here? Right, so we have two pots, A and B. So the first pot, which is clear, you see a clear translucent gel. So this is the base of the gel that we're going to apply on, on uh, Yasmin's skin today. And then we've got the second pot, which is um, bright orange. Let's have a look at this. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, that is bright <laughs> orange. <laughs> bright orange. Wow. Um, and then this is the gel that do contains the uh, live chromophore. So this is the gel that's going to work within the, the lamp onto her skin. So we mix both together, and then I'm gonna apply this on Yasmin's face. So why don't we start, if, uh, if you start with that, Vanessa. Yeah. Um, so just as a reminder, uh, Karen did talk about the fact that, that, that kind of, one of the key differences here for Chloresca skin rejuvenation, it is a light-based treatment, um, but it's uh, using uh, fluorescent light. And the key is the Chloresca gel, um, and they are mixed together and then what we'll see is the light is going to be activating uh, the gel and creating the fluorescence which is going to be working on the skin. 
So, Dr. Wade, kind of at a, as a dermatologist, mm -hmm. what is physically happening to the skin with the light during this process? So the uh, the light is um, <clears throat> being delivered to the skin and, and it's giving energy to the to the skin and it's stimulating uh, different um, structures in the skin. So because the fluorescent light is a, a broader uh, wavelength, we think that it acts on quite a few different um, structures in the skin. Whereas a lot of um, you know other light based treatments might just work on pigmentation, might just work on redness or more particular uh, queries. So it it is a, a um, quite a, a wide spectrum of um, light which is, is going to stimulate a lot of different structures there. Great, okay. Jasmine, I'm going to invite you to just lie down. The beauty of chloresca is we're not actually damaging the skin, we're not um, uh, you know, causing any negative impact to the skin to, to get that stimulation. So that, that's one of the differences with chloresca as compared to non-ablative um, resurfacing for instance. So what I've done here, I've just put eye shield onto Yasmin's eyes so that she doesn't uh, see the light during the treatment. And now I'm just gonna, I mix both gel together. So as you can see, it's a nice um, smooth consistency. And then I'm just gonna apply that onto the skin. Okay, so how does that feel, Yasmin? It's cool. It's cool? It's cool, yeah. Okay, any other sensations at all? No, just it's cool. It feels quite refreshing on my skin. And Dr. White, is the gel that's got being put on the on the face, is mm -hmm. this sort of an active product? So does the gel do anything on its own? No, so it does need the stimulation by the uh, LED lamp uh, to, to make it effective. And uh, there's been a, a good clinical study um, on the rejuvenation effects of uh, Floresca, and, and one of the treatment arms was just using the gel by itself. And mm -hmm. we found that just using the gel by itself didn't um, lead to an improvement, but it's, it's the combination. So we need the, uh, the LED light to um, uh, activate the chromophores, which then activates the skin, as Karen was saying before. And I think it's important to note that at London Real Skin, we do offer cosmetic dermatology treatments, but they're all evidence-based treatments. Um, so they're treatments which have got good clinical studies behind them that show they actually work. Uh, and my understanding was that in measuring collagen, the mm -hmm. before treatment and after treatment, mm -hmm. there was a good increase in collagen. So that was probably the most exciting thing that we found with the uh, in that trial, uh, that there was a 400% increase in collagen production, which is uh, which is pretty good, pretty uh, pretty impressive. Um, so for someone like um, Yasmin, who's you know still very young. Um, you know, she's not necessarily going to see a dramatic lifting effect because she's not old enough to need that, but it's going to be stimulating her fibroblasts to produce more collagen to keep the, the skin nice and thick and healthy, um, and it will be helping with the fine lines and... Um, Possibly the scars as well. And, and the scars, yeah. The scars, yeah. 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 Great, okay, so Vanessa, we're all good. So I've applied the gel. As you can see, her face is covered um, with this uh, bright orange gel. Now I'm going to put the lamp... Um, I'll give you a hand with that. I'm just going to turn, up, turn on the lamp. So I want to select the rejuvenating mode and then activate the three panels. So uh, we might want to kind of come up a little bit just to see what's happening here because uh, what we can see is that the gel uh, has, has gone a, a sort of a bright fluorescent green. Um, now, how are you feeling, Yasmin? It's like being on holiday. Okay, it's like, and what are you feeling? Is it like, is it cool or is it? It's quite warm on my face, but not in like a, an, an unpleasant way. That's what I mean by being on holiday. It feels like you're just lying on the beach with the sun in your face. Okay, so if we, I'm just going to touch the lamp. The lamp is actually cool because the lamp isn't generating any heat. It's the action of the light on the gel, which is creating heat at the moment. Um, and Vanessa, how long are we going to have the lamp on for? So the lamp is programmed to be on for 9 minutes and after 9, min nine minutes it will go um, off by itself. So the treatment is um, just 9 minutes. Okay. Quite simple. So I've just finished my first Koreska treatment, I'm still at the clinic and there's a little bit redness but oh my gosh how amazing that was. I really recommend this treatment. It is so 
like soothing on my skin and such a good treatment to get for somebody who's never done anything like this before it's very it's a very mild introduction to um, getting facials and getting skin treatment so yeah I really recommend it um, there's a little bit of redness um, but as you might have seen on the live event it should be gone by tomorrow so we'll see you then